So for today, we're going to be reviewing the Hardened Basilisk seasonal ornament. If you guys don't know, I usually make these review videos for armor sets and we're going to be reviewing how it looks, how it shaders. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're just going to be doing a quick video for this because the individual armor pieces videos are going to be in their own videos. So for the hunter specifically, I have all of the armor pieces used. So for example, I have an armor set that just revolves around the boots. The chest piece the arms the helmet even the cloak so i can't say that for the warlock and titan just because i think their class items are not that not unique enough for me to do something really cool with it but everything else i do end up using so like for example the helmet the chest piece the boots the arms i use all of that for the titan and warlock and the hunter's the only one that has a class item involved in that so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help i really appreciate you guys and let's just get into it so for the Hardened Basilisk set, I think this might be my favorite armor set from this season, aside from maybe the season of the Haunted armor set, just because the skulls are really cool. But if I'm being quite honest, I think the skulls are the only thing that I really like from the whole armor set. But with the Hardened Basilisk set, I think each piece has a place in, in fashion. So for the boots, I think the boots are probably the best part from all of the classes aside maybe the warlocks i think it is a little little bland but for the hunters i think it looks super super cool you guys got some really cool kicks on the on the bottom of it i also love the fact that all of this is mostly uh cloth armor and maybe some leather in there there is some armor in there it's just so minimal that it, i do kind of have to explain it it's on the side of the knees upper knee you guys will see these like two like spiky bits that is actually armor other than that everything else is literally leather or cloth as for the titans you guys will see it's kind of like the opposite there is a lot of armor in there but it is very slick and thin which is super super cool for the warlock unfortunately because of just how the chest piece is you guys can't actually see it but it is kind of like the hunters where it is mostly cloth if not just cloth but it is a little bit more on the boring side for the chest pieces i think all of them are pretty cool even the chest piece for the hunter i think is very usable and i actually do like the chest piece set that i did for it for the titans i i love it i think it's super cool i think it, we definitely needed a smaller chest piece for the titans i think it's super cool for the warlocks i'm conflicted because on one hand i do like it from the waist up but from the waist down i think it's too much i would have preferred if the bottom of the warlock's chest piece was open in the front and the back was all the cloth just because i feel like that would have been a lot better just because when you see the waist up it looks a lot more casual and then when you see the waist down it's way too much personally uh, helmets i think all of them are super dope i think all of them are amazing i think the titans is probably my more favorite just because it looks super cool the warlock would probably be my second favorite and then the hunters would probably be in in the same spot with the warlocks i think both of them are really cool i think none of them are losing i think both of them are, or all of them are all winning uh arms i think is the weakest portion for probably just the hunters and warlocks the titans i think the arms are probably the best piece i think it looks super super cool and it, it is symmetrical which is super dope as well uh obviously the hunters have an asymmetrical arm it's not not nothing new like we always get that like why bitch about it when we always get that i i fucking hate it um the arms for the warlock is kind of boring but at the same time i really like the set that i made with that uh, and then for the class item, I think the hunters have the coolest class item. The Titans have a very generic one. Like it's not bad, but it's also not great. It just looks so boring and kind of the same thing with the Warlocks. I feel like the Warlock probably has the worst one. If I'm being quite honest, you guys could have done a lot with this one, but you guys just gave us a, like a cylinder, a green cylinder. I don't know. I'm very disappointed with the Warlocks one and the titan one the hunter i think looks super dope uh specifically because it kind of reminds me of the hood from uh what's it called uh, from death stranding specifically sam's uh hood in this picture right here hopefully i can find it and it just reminds me so much of that picture that i kind of ruined it but I, yeah i do end up doing a death stranding uh look for the hood but let me know what you guys think about the armor in the comments below. I Again, I think each class ate really well with these sets just because there's so many pieces that are usable. I mean, to be fair, 
I used every piece aside from the class items for the Titan and Warlock. I used every piece in an armor set and I actually really like them with probably the exception of maybe the Hunter arms being like the one that I'm like, it's fine. It's definitely not my favorite, but I wouldn't say it's terrible because it actually looks cool. It's just would I wear it. I don't know. They would have to buff the exotic that I paired it with first for me to think about using it. But let me know what you guys think. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. Thank God it shaders really well. As you guys can see, there's a lot of white in this. Equidanger's off color for cloth is white. And it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird because on the Hunter, there is a lot of white. For the Titan, there's not a lot of white, but the white that is in there is super weird. Like specifically, the chest piece is divided within the like stomach. And then for the for the boots, for some reason, it's divided again. When you combine both of them, it makes sense. But you have to remember, I'm probably not going to combine the chest piece and the boots together because especially on almost every class aside from the Warlock, it looks like the same armor piece. It's kind of the same thing with, with Warlocks with their helmet and, the, and their chest piece. You don't want to combine the Warlock chest piece with the Warlock helmet because then it looks like you're just wearing the same set with different things. Kind of the same thing with the Titans and Hunters. You don't want to combine the same chest piece with the same boots because then at that point you're wearing just one whole set, in my opinion. So for me, it's cool that they have that design, but I'm not going to use these two together. So I'm just going to be more annoyed from it than anything else. I think the Warlock has probably the best distribution between off colors and non colors. Uh, as you guys can see, you guys see the blue steel in there when which is kind of weird because that blue steel is usually the shader for armor pieces which probably means the blue steel that you do see is probably armor or probably some sort of metal, which either way, it looks really cool. Uh, I like the white in the stomach. I think that's super dope. A lot of, yeah, a lot of it really shaders really well for uh, Echoed Anger. For Abyssinian Gold, I also think it shaders really well, specifically with the boots for the Hunters. It turns it all black, which is super cool. Just be aware that the metal plates at the sides of the knee will be that brown that we talk about and i am personally i don't think i'll care too much if i go for an all black look but i will be like in the back of my head i'll always know like those those tips have brown on there but i don't think it's going to be that big of an issue for me because it's so minimal that you have to specifically be looking for it uh everything else shaders fine one thing to note though before i forget the slit in the, the eye slit for the Titans, the I probably didn't mention this, but the helmets all take shaders really well for the glows. This is where it gets kind of weird because it kind of cycles in and out. Hopefully I'll show you guys right now. But for the Titans specifically, I noticed that they have the biggest problem with this. Uh, when it comes to gl the glow, it'll be an off color to the glow that you're usually used to. And the fact that the glow actually like uh, not pulsates, but it goes down. So it'll like darken down and then darken or brighten up back up, but on top. So it kind of like flickers up and down or not, or just like down, I guess you would say, uh, which is annoying because on top of not being the correct shader, you'll also have that issue where it's like, now it looks darker because all the light is gone and then the light will come back on. So it's like pulsating, but not really. I don't know. I just want to let you know, because when I was doing my armor pieces for this, I noticed it and it immediately pissed me off because I was like, it's cool that it has that, but it also kind of annoys me a little. Either way, just just be aware of that. The only pieces that really do glow from this whole set are the helmets and the bond for the for the warlocks. Other than that, there's there is no glow, which is cool because I even though that the, the Titan helmet has that pulsating thing, I still love the Titan helmet. I think it's super cool. Uh, the helmet for the hunters is also super cool. I didn't mention this, but the helmet like without a hood actually looks pretty cool as well. Hopefully I'll have a picture of the hunter without the hood right now. And then for the warlocks, I'll give you guys just the pants so you guys can see how it actually looks because with the chest piece, you kind of can't see it anyways. So here they are again. I think the helmet looks really cool. I'm very happy that the helmet came out really cool for the boots. I, I think the boots are super dope. I actually put these boots for an existing set that I already had, which might be, might be an, a cop out for some people. But for me, it was more of a like, 
now i have options insta if in case i don't want to use those but yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor sets in the comments below i will probably tell you right off the bat that the titan probably has pieces that i like more over the hunter and warlock just because the boots are super cool the chest piece is super cool the arms are super cool the helmet i love the helmet's probably my favorite part the hunter's not saying it's terrible by any means i just think a lot of the pieces are very specific and uh, i don't like every piece the same as like for the titan for example like i think all of the pieces are amazing and i love them all the same the hunters unfortunately i think the arms are just the weakest portion from the whole set i think the chest piece although i do use it and it's a really cool set i do think it's the one of the weakest portions as well and i think the helmet and the boots are probably the best piece from this whole set the cloak i'm either or about like some some sets it looks really cool and some sets it just looks really terrible the warlocks i'm gonna be real with you guys i think the biggest issue is just the chest piece for me i think the fact that they put cloth in front of the boots is kind of messed up because i think the boots were, are really really cool and they should have just added a little bit more design into the boots so that way the boots could really shine uh arms i think are kind of boring but that's to be expected i guess because warlock arms are usually boring the helmet fantastic i think that's probably one of the coolest helmets just because it looks so so gnarly and the bond is obscenely disappointing i think they really dropped the mark on that bond it looks so terrible they could have done a lot more with that bond but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below again you will be seeing the individual sets probably tomorrow starting with the hunter because the hunter is usually the class i start with i main a hunter obviously and then titan and the warlock uh we will be also trying to do some more armor piece videos just because i'm really enjoying this we're gonna be doing armor armor showcases so specifically like showcasing some armor, set, armor sets from the past and making videos from that because i think it's important to showcase that especially especially uh to showcase some armor sets that are like unobtainable i think that's going to be really good so that way people can start asking bungie to bring some of these armor sets back for newer players and whatnot because i i can't tell you how many people are like i don't have this armor set what, what, what can i use instead so yeah let me know what you guys think be safe i appreciate you guys i know i say this a lot but i really do uh the view, the channel has been doing so well and it's all thanks to you guys and i really do appreciate it because without you guys i mean no one would be watching my video so thank you and i will talk to you guys later